All right, real quick, I'm gonna do a quick video of how I have my pontoon boat set up for fishing. I uh, was gonna sell it, but I have two kids and uh, my wife likes to fish just as much as I do. My kids like to fish. Um, so when I decided to keep it, I told my wife, I said, if we're gonna keep it and uh, we both like to fish, I'm gonna set it up how I want to. She was all for that. Um, just to start off with, this is a uh, 2017 Bass Buggy Deluxe, 16-foot uh, uh, Sun Tracker. It's got the really nice uh, trailer with it that has the ladder on it. This 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 setup is really really easy to load and unload. You can do it by yourself. Um, this is a Bass Buggy Deluxe. I, there ain't no bass fishing when I'm on it. I don't, I don't do none of that mess. I catch brim. I catch catfish. Um, I go flatheading a lot. I love to catch catfish, flathead, blues, channel cat. Um, yeah, uh, just on the outside, I have LED lights mounted up underneath here. I didn't want them shining in people's uh, people's eyes at night. This is just for illuminating the water when I'm fishing at night time. I have I have five mounted on the back plate. Uh, the back of the boat for when I'm fishing fishing in the current but fishing out of the back um, I have an LED light installed on either side of the motor that helps to see when we're fighting the fish um, like I said it's 2017 it also has 2017 uh, 40 horse command thrust um, I was a little worried when I got it that I wouldn't push this boat I never liked pontoon boats, but I got this for my kids and my wife. I usually uh, always had a stick steer, but uh, that 40 pushes this little boat pretty good. Um, it's not as heavy as you'd think. Uh, it's designed very well. These pontoons in the front, uh, they're cut so that they cut through the water. But anyway, um, Stepping up here, like I said, this ladder is really nice to have. Makes it easy getting out, loading things, unloading the boat, loading the boat. But right here is my, I uh, had this installed the other night. It's a 35 pound track pontoon uh, electric winch. And the reason I have it installed over here on the side is I don't want it in the middle, tripping people. It's still kind of in the way, but with this, this lip's not very thick, so. That's the only place I really could mount it, but uh, I didn't want it hitting this when I was loading it, and I didn't want it in the way, so that's why I have it mounted there. And it really, really helps a lot. Uh, it's a 35 pound electric winch. Um, I only have a 15 on it right now because I've been fishing, like I said, I fish a lot in the Apalachicola River. Um, I've been fishing the Chattahoochee River up above Lake Seminole and there's hardly any current up there so that does just fine but I uh, mounted it right there as you can see the gate it doesn't put any clearance doesn't mess with it at all uh, like to keep a extra tank of gas on here full so I can really go with that four stroke 40 horse don't hardly burn anything but I have four rod holders I didn't want to drill any holes into my rails so I got these suction kind they just twist and I was worried that they wasn't gonna hold or stick but there I mean I can't hardly I can't even move that so it's not going anywhere um, I keep my rod holders over here on the left as you can see my wife's got me hooked on white rods with red line there's a couple of my flathead rods uh, I got the two seats up front they do move uh, they turn directions the only thing I wish that they would free swivel but they lock facing forward, lock facing back, and right and left. So that's all right. They're pretty comfortable. So I got two rod holders on that side, two on that side. Um, keep my cooler right there out of the way so I can walk everywhere right here. The seat in front of the console is a nine gallon aerated live well with an overflow so I can every now and then just let the water run. Um, pumps it up from that back left pontoon into here comes out right here uh, so every now and then I have my brim in there and run it so that they can keep some oxygen to them also I like to keep my dip net tucked in under here so I can dip them out when I need to bait the hook 
and it doesn't ever blow out going down the road. It keeps it tucked in. The rod holder right here next to this handle, I just use to put my dip net in because like I said, I keep all my rods down here tucked out of the way. Um, this couch here is very comfortable. Me and my wife can both fit on it. It doesn't look like it because I'm tucked up under this workshop so I can't really give a good view but I'll sleep long way she'll sleep short way when we're flathead and all that but up under here it's kind of dirty I've been fishing a lot it's got waters and cords radios tools uh, straps for the bimini top when I put it up so stink bait under there life jackets extra anchors extra rope um, I have four speakers on here I have three down in the couch one there 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 and also have one in the console right here it's real nice um, I did up under this seat instead of just having one cranking battery because I now have all these other electronics I got two brand new Deacon Marine deep cycle batteries I got some money in them uh, about $350 but it's well worth it so not everything's hooked to my cranking battery so even if the other stuff does die, which it never does, but I can still crank up and go. Cup holder there. Cup holder here when I'm driving. Radio mounted up under here so I can just access that real easy. I have my switches for my white lights right here. Um, it's got a horn. There's my aerator pump. These are my lights. For the boat the red and green uh, and I also have other lights that come from the manufacturer on here here is my um, remote for the pontoon anchor up there uh, this just comes out that stays clipped there put it up or down you get done put it back there it doesn't go anywhere um, I have a charger right here that come from the factory this is where I decided to put my fish finder because when I'm trolling along, uh, just going real slow looking for holes, I'm going to be right back here driving anyway, so I didn't want it up front. didn't make any sense. wanted to put it right here. Uh, this is just allowance hook too. I got it. Like I said, just for depth. I don't really need to see all the fish. I don't need some expensive fish finder. I don't do that kind of fishing. I find a hole, drop a brim in it, see if there's a catfish down there. So. This was like 99 bucks on uh, Amazon, and it's well worth it. Um, you can adjust it in the back and turn it up or down, whatever direction you want. Let's see. I got this separate. It was like 20 bucks, but I keep that cover on it, even though I'm going to be keeping it under the shed. Uh, still, I like to keep things covered. But yeah, it's real comfortable. Like I said, it's dirty. I've been fishing a lot, catching a lot of fish. They've been biting. But I got the fish finder, uh, the rod holders on the side, the live well, all this storage up under here, uh, that pontoon anchor up there, and I don't even have to get up when I'm on the river and just drop it down. <laughs> don't have to be throwing anchors anymore. Um, I got bush hooks or bush clamps up under there with rope. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's nice to tie the bushes and stuff in the shallower part and catch the brim. But, yeah, this is, like I said, I'm, I can barely stand up on here because of the roof of the shed. So it's kind of hard to get a good, uh, good view of this boat and how much room it actually has. But I just wanted to show people how I have it set up because I know when I was looking at these pontoon anchors different these boats are all set up different I only have you know it's my hand is that's that's not enough room to mount it so this is really the only place I could mount it but that's good because it's in the middle and I would like my anchor to be in the middle of the boat anyway but at night time maybe another time I'll do a video when I have the lights uh, turned on at night and you can see how bright they are and they don't burn any batteries when you go all night so in the summertime we go to sandbar when i'm not fishing which is very rarely but we'll open this all the way up and uh the kids will run and 
jump off right here they'll swim around get back up the ladder this door same as the front head open swings open so it's good for the kids it's good for me and the wife good for flathead tournaments good for cruising the lakes uh, there's a spot right here where you can add an additional attachment to make a table with cup holders or whatever so eventually i'm going to get a um a propane grill that is for pontoon boats that just mounts on the rail you can screw it on screw it off keep it up under the seat but so that way flathead tournaments and stuff i can have me some shish kebabs uh, already pre-made in the cooler and bring them out and fire up the grill or summertime you know hot dogs and hamburgers for the kids but like i said in the beginning i, I never liked pontoon boats i've always had stick steer boats 14 foot 16 foot with a merc on it but uh it's just the way i was raised uh, but now they're making these pontoon boats where you can really get on them and you know i like to catfish more than anything i love catching brim but i only like to catch enough just to go flat and so this boat here with it being as small as it is um i can really do a lot of stuff with it like i said that 40 horse uh command to us pushes it about 25 miles per hour with just me and my wife on it so very surprised by that but yeah so this is i just wanted to post a video and show people how i think it's set up because when i was looking you know youtube is such a good place to look and see how people have their stuff set up and then you can kind of get a reference and decide how you want to set yours up um, i'm just doing this on my cell phone so i can't really get a good quality but uh just wanted to show i have everything set up